Hi, I'm Greg Piper, and today I'd like to talk about what has become a local tourism phenomenon in southern Lake Macquarie. What would you think is the biggest tourism attraction to our area, especially for backpackers? Well, let me tell you, it's not the lake, it's not the mountains, or any of our obvious attractions. It's for kangaroos at Morissette Hospital. This is understandable, as it's one of the few locations within easy reach of Sydney where seeing a kangaroo, and most likely a lot of them, is almost guaranteed. Through summer and spring in particular, hundreds of people can visit daily. And over the course of the year, this amounts to many thousands of tourists visiting the site to see, pat and to photograph the kangaroos. A big part of that has become feeding the kangaroos, despite multiple warning signs against that. Up front, please realise these kangaroos are being visited on what is a mental health facility and a residential facility for people with developmental disability. The site does not have public toilets, there's no readily accessible water or any other facilities. So if you are planning on visiting, go prepared. If you're one of the thousands of people who travel to Morissette by train, don't follow advice to go to Morissette Park because that is misleading and will take you a long way out of your way. From Macquarie Street, take Acacia Avenue and if walking, please remember to walk to the right of road and be aware that cars and other vehicles use this road frequently. Now once you get there, you're likely to see kangaroos in large numbers and that is a fantastic experience, particularly for visitors from other countries. You should not feed these kangaroos, but we know that people are. Certainly do not feed kangaroos processed food and be aware that due to the feeding that has occurred, these kangaroos are not just desensitised to human contact, they will literally come to you looking for food. This behaviour can actually lead to aggression, particularly from male kangaroos. What many tourists seem to overlook is that these are wild animals and they are equipped with long, sharp claws and they do actually injure people from time to time. We're not wanting to overstate the risk here, but people have been attacked, they have been injured and just take a look at these photos showing injuries caused by the kangaroos at Morissette Hospital in the recent past. The bucks in particular can become very aggressive and when you look at their build, you can see that they are well equipped for fighting and to cause injury if they wish. They can grab and most concerningly, they can deliver a powerful kick. And with large claws, the risk could be obvious to anyone. But don't just take it from me. Someone who sees it regularly is Shane Lewis, who runs a local shuttle van service, bringing many tourists to the site. We have seen a lot of people get injured through feeding the kangaroos where um, they've been kicked, scratched. Some people, one person even got uh, 17 stitches in their face. Mm. Um, there have been scratches on shoulders, body limbs. One guy even left here in an ambulance where his whole stomach got um, cut from side to side. The kangaroos here have become such an international tourist attraction that there are multiple pages on popular travel website TripAdvisor. They are discussed in forums on Lonely Planets, Thorn Tree Forum. There are Facebook pages dedicated to the ruse. The experience of coming here is even talked about on lesser known sites and travel blogs. So please just remember that when you visit the site, follow instructions and please don't feed the animals. And be mindful that you're visiting these wonderful creatures in what is someone else's home. Also, be mindful just to use common sense in looking after the welfare of the animals, but also of yourself. And particularly, mums and dads, be very careful of children around the kangaroos. They can be dangerous, it is rare, but please just be mindful of that. And also, take your rubbish with you.